cinema at its most horrific and confronting. Few films have the ability to make one embody the experience of its protagonist, quite like Ilem Klimov's anti-war masterpiece, Come and See, for it is this unstable and macabre vision of humanist terror that has the ability to change the way we view life itself. Released in 1985, Klimov's harrowing work is based on the 1978 book I Am From the Fari Village by Les Adamovich, who also co-wrote the screenplay for Come and See alongside Klimov. Set in 1943 and centering on the Nazi German occupation of Belarus, the circumstantial events of Klimov's film follows a young boy who after finding a rifle soon decides to join the Soviet resistance movement against the German forces, and soon experiences the horrors and revulsion of World War II. Extending from this narrative, Klimov seeks to explore the concepts of realism and naturalism, which attempts to portray our humanist sensibilities without essences of artificiality, and by avoiding any element of speculative fiction, despite there being numerous methods and depictions of the realism style throughout the history of cinema. Few filmic endeavours are capable of embodying the dispositions and tragedies of human experience quite like Klimov's visceral and haunting masterpiece. When we as humans think about the purpose of art, what do we envision? Is art merely supposed to prompt thinking and self-reflection about what we perceive, or is it capable of something far greater? At its very foundations, art ought to be viewed as the eclectic embodiment of the human experience. And when this personification is realised, one can start to change their perspectives as a result of their artistic experience, as they seek to absorb the power, imagination, and conceptual ideas of the artist. Although this may be the case with the majority of art, there are few artistic mediums capable of reflecting and echoing the sensory human experience, quite like the medium of cinema. Cinema allows us to not only view various perspectives of the human experience, but the visual essence of film allows it to become a true universal form of communication. Come and See is a film so ruthless in its depiction of evil and fear that one will never forget their first encounter with the film. By diving deep into the contextual frame of Klimov's work, we can start to dissect the very foundations of warfare and the harsh annals that led to the film's exploration of history within its central narrative, which presents a study into the heart of human darkness. Capitalizing on the unstable cultural climate of post-war Russia, Klimov rejects any element of potential thematic repression in favor of a vision that is artistically cathartic and raw. Extending from the essence of contextual realism is a desire from Klimov to present visual and auditory realism, in turn crafting a work that thrives in its sheer sensory power. Throughout Come and See, we are presented with an almost continuous flow of close-up shots of our central character. Position center frame. It is in his frontal gaze that we start to become enraptured in Klimov's world. As his lingering presence in center frame continues throughout the film, it casts an alluring and hypnotizing spell on us, almost as if we too begin to possess his psyche. Combined with his effective use of Steadicam, the film's choice of camera work and framing succeeds in provoking the audience by positioning them into the world of the protagonist and the trauma he is enduring. This choice to frame his protagonist front and center helps to create an empathetic discernment from the viewer, engulfing the spectator with an overwhelming flourish of image and sound. Within Come and See, Klimov chooses to remain largely subjective in his viewpoint, despite transitioning occasionally to an objective viewpoint when we observe things that our protagonist cannot see. In the film's sequences of terror, as the visuals reach a horrific peak, we are required to witness an assortment of haunting and nightmarish images, and these are images that most filmmakers 
would be too afraid to commit to. You see, Klimov's vision creates a work in which the audience becomes the participant. Regardless of whether or not they wish to be involved in this capacity, the vast sensory realism on display almost makes this impossible. This extends to the performances of Klimov's actors, who commit to sequences of immense physicality, showcasing an awe-inspiring sense of bravery and realism on their behalf. Later on in the piece, Klimov counters his grounded filmic construction with an explosive flurry of documentary footage towards the film's conclusion. And whilst throughout the film, Klimov's deep thematics do become clear, this choice to incorporate the true war footage shifts the perspective from the story of our central character into a concentration on the scope of war itself, creating a remarkably effective juxtaposition for both character and audience. As close as a film can come to conveying true horror, within Come and See, the suffering inflicted upon the central character is represented with such bleakness and anguish that the audience cannot help but feel that they themselves have had their own traumatic experience. Presented as a nightmarish construction of humanity being pushed beyond emotional and physical limits, Klimov conveys this sadistic vision by provoking and stimulating our own fears and horrors. Creatively expressionistic and impressionistic in equal accounts, Klimov rejects war film conventions in favour of a more tactile, heavy-handed approach to his content. For this isn't a film that merely seeks to tell a story about the war, this film is the war. Remarkably choosing to also include elements of symbolism and surrealism within his grounded world, with its eclectic blend of visceral elements, Come and See reaches the highest point of cinematic realism. This is the closest one can come to the nightmare of war without actually living in it. Klimov has created the most terrifying yet mesmerizing film anyone has ever made about the war. A film that is certainly shocking, but most importantly, unforgettable.